Hey, what is going on you guys? I did the impossible today. I put together a $150 build. So smash that like button. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so to start this one off, we're gonna be using the Rosewill FBM-01 case. It costs 30 bucks, $32 to be exact on eBay. And you can get it at other stores as well but I decided to do most of my shopping for this build on eBay. Now, it's a great case. It is a micro ATX case, so it's not huge, but it will still be able to fit a decent sized graphics card and everything that we need. There's no bells and whistles. Uh, it has USB 2.0 headers on the front and not three, and that is the only downfall that I can think of. Okay, so sticking to the basics, again, I went with the EVGA 500 watt bronze power supply for this one. Now, again, I've used this one in the past. It's a great power supply. On eBay right now, you can grab it for $35 open box, but you could pick it up for new for $40. Yeah, it depends if you want to spend the extra $5, I wouldn't. Now, you can also find this power supply on other stores like Newegg and Amazon, just like the case for the same or cheaper. Price varies, so that will determine on the day that you're shopping. Now, I really like this power supply. Like I said, it is a 500 watt and it is 80 plus certified bronze. So it should power any graphics card on the market right now, no problem, and the rest of your system, and it's only $35, so it's a no brainer. Okay, so here's where things really start to get fun and interesting. Now, I had to go with this used bundle that I found on eBay because it's a $150 build again, and we just didn't have the money to go all new, so we mixed and matched used and new parts. Now this bundle includes a Q6600 clocked at 2.4 GHz, an LGA775 motherboard, and 4 GB of DDR2 RAM. In the end, I was very happy with this choice. In the used market, the Q6600 is very well known and is an excellent CPU. I would have gone new, there was just zero good options for CPUs under 50, and to get a bundle like this with all three of these parts for $38, that is just insane. And I really recommend try and pick up a Q6600 if you're on the tightest of budgets. Uh, you can get motherboards singled out for 30 bucks, which I know is more expensive, but if you can get a bundle, definitely get the bundle. But even if you have to get the parts standalone, it's still an excellent deal, and I really love the used market. So by now, you're probably really wondering what graphics card I went with, so drum roll please. So what I went with was the GTX 650. Uh, the EVGA version to be exact and say 1 gigabyte card and it is a excellent graphics card. It is still good to this day, it came out a little while ago but it's still very popular and for $45 that's all it cost me. It is a steal and it is going to play any game that is out to this day no problem. However the downfall is you're not going to get 60 FPS 1080p on many games these days but you're going to be playing all your games at 720p 60 FPS or 1080p 30 FPS. It is a great deal and I was very happy to find the card for this price. And in the end, it really brought together this build, so teamed up with the Q6600, it is the perfect graphics card for that CPU. It will just be using all the power together, they're gonna work wonders, and it's gonna play games at a really good price point, and I really hope someone builds this PC, and let me know how it goes. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for more, peace. Yeah.